If you are a hairy person like me, this video might help you or disappoint you. <laughs> I don't know. I am a really, really, really hairy person. I'm gonna show you. I've got so much hair on my arms, on my legs, and almost everywhere on my body. Even though I should be having all of that hair on my head, but the hair that I have on my head is falling out. So I don't know how, how does that even make sense. I have tried a lot of remedies and I've done shaving, I've done waxing, laser, whatever, whatever. And I'm still doing all of that stuff for different parts of my body, like laser for my face or whatever. So today I wanted to just try a home remedy that I saw online. I hate my hair today and I've not washed it in, I don't know, maybe 10 days. So I don't even know how to keep it, but whatever this home remedy is by smitha deepak and she is showing us uh, how we can remove our facial hair at home by using maybe two or three ingredients and we're gonna do just that she's gonna be removing her facial hair but I've, i don't really have a lot of facial hair right now because i shaved a couple days ago we're gonna use that home remedy on our hands because look at this you guys Mm, nothing to be ashamed of my brother always calls me a man which i don't take seriously because i don't care i'm gonna keep the hair as long as i want uh, the hair on my arm is maybe really thick the remedy might not work here we're gonna try on the arm and on my fingers as well let's go make that good stuff and look at my eyeliner today it is a very very clear representation of my life it doesn't go as planned. You guys, the mixture is ready and it is really hard to mix it up because of all the lumps forming. Just gonna apply it with my bare hands because I don't have any brush to do that. It feels sticky because of the gelatin, I guess. So we're just going to do this part because I really don't know how it's going to go. Then we're going to do the fingers. We're done here in her video she mentions that we should wait for 30 minutes you guys it's been 30 minutes and it is dried up as you can see oh my god this looks so funny this is how i would look when i will be old as hell i guess but anyways let's start the peeling process which is maybe oh fuck it hurts some hair did come out from this finger, but not much. I don't know if it was the way I took it off. Oh god. The fuck it hurts so fucking bad, but no hair came out. That is exactly what's gonna happen with the rest of this as well, because look, no hair came out. Maybe I don't really know what what went wrong. And I'm not even excited about peeling this stuff off because the hair on my fucking arm is so fucking wild no 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 no. look even if i peel it like this much it hurts so fucking bad even worse than waxing so i guess i maybe did not make the mixture right or mm, i don't really know what happened i tried this same exact home remedy before as well but it did not work maybe it's just my hair or my skin or i did not make the mixture right i don't really know but unfortunately it didn't work for me but if it worked for you that's amazing i'm just gonna try and wash it off i mean i wish i can because i really hope i can because it's gonna hurt if i'm gonna peel it it is hurting so fucking bad even if i try to peel it look at it look at it fudge some hair does come off okay but you have to have that kind of pain tolerance for you to let it actually peel off but i don't i am just gonna wash it off 
I guess I'm just gonna stay the hairy monster that I am for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that, to be honest. Look at my legs, okay? One second, I'll show you my legs. Oh Lord, why is this camera so up high? Look at this. <laughs> so, I do not care. If you wanna remove your hair on your body or your face, do it. If you don't wanna do it, don't do it. It's perfectly fine. Also, please don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and subscribe to my channel, please. Please.